I really didn't sleep that well last night because uh, I was still kind of amped from an event that I went to. But right now I'm going to get some caffeine because I don't want to take a nap because normally when I take a nap, I feel so lethargic after. But this morning I got a good workout in. Then I did some school work. I just started my fall semester as a junior at FIU. Very excited about that. But come along with me. I'm going to get some caffeine. And there's just a few different things I want to talk about and go over uh, in this new YouTube video. All right, so just chug the Mountain Dew. Good to have some caffeine. I'm kind of tired, but I'm feeling much better. I needed that caffeine because it's like, I'm not going to nap. I want to go to church tonight uh, and just like be in a good mood. Um, so I just feel so much better. Uh, but I'm glad that I can actually sit down and make this YouTube video. One reoccurring problem that I'm noticing when I make these videos is that like, it's like, it's like one way or the other. I'm literally isolated like in my house in a situation and filming location completely far away. And it's like a little strange. It's basically me talking to myself or it's in like a public place in a mall and it's just really embarrassing. And I'm sure like new YouTubers and vloggers can relate to that. It's like when you're in a crowd and there's a ton of other people and it's like you're filming. It's just like, it's such a, a weird feeling. And that's when you just have to like tune out other people and just like totally become absorbed in the filming process. But I wanted to sit down today and actually just talk about uh, a new business that I'm starting. Right now I have a, a few different things going on. Right now I'm working full-time in sales at Dex Imaging, continuing to work for that document dealer and uh, that office equipment supplier. Uh, I'm also a junior at FIU and uh, I'm continuing to uh, study. Uh, my most recent YouTube video, I talked about a life-changing scholarship that I was awarded from the Theodore and Vivian Johnson Foundation. So that was really exciting. I've kind of built up some momentum with school uh, excited to continue to rack up the credits at FIU. But essentially the business that I'm starting right now is in like, it's very early stages, but all that I can disclose about it is that it's actually a technology startup. And I'm right now creating and building the business with a uh, FIU alumni who is a computer science major. He knows all the programming languages. Uh, he's well-versed in software engineering, but right now he's just finishing up this like little course just to brush up on a few different things. And then we're actually gonna create and build this this dream that we have, and it's a very exciting process. So I'm developing the technology startup, continuing with this YouTube channel. I'm also dabbling in short form content, but I am honestly not the biggest fan of TikTok. I think the best part about TikTok is the algorithm and the things that it you know, recommends to you. But honestly, my favorite form of content to digest and enjoy is YouTube. I love long form content. Um, I feel like I, I grew up on YouTube and I love watching Mr. Ben Brown, Fun for Louie, uh, just Casey Neistat, like those iconic vloggers who really documented their life and just helped teach the skills that they learned in media production and some of the different things that they learned in life and imparted onto um, their viewers and to their subscribers. And they just showcase life in like this really amazing, like authentic yet stylized way. And that's kind of my goal. Uh, to do with this YouTube channel as I start out in my career and uh, try to finish up my college degree and kind of begin my early 20s, I thought, you know, there's no better time to start and build a YouTube channel than right now. As I continue to upload videos and produce content like later on in this year and we get closer to actually launching the startup, I want to like explain more about the company. But I think that it's such a good idea right now. I don't want to just like be out in the open and, you know, share it with the entire world. I, I want to keep it close to my chest until it actually launches. Like that's how much I actually believe in our tech product. Another important disclaimer is that you actually don't know, you don't have to know how to code and program to build a tech company. There are plenty of no code tools out there if you have a technology idea. And if you think you have a, an amazing product in mind that could be the next you know, Facebook or the next Microsoft or Oracle or something like that, um, you actually can do so much by using no code tools and outsourcing it for you know, pretty low cost options. And I would highly recommend like do your research before you hire some kind of agency and you blow like 20 grand just getting somebody else to just program your app. Like try to keep it as much as you can in house. I mean, I, I think that's really where you can save money and actually execute on your idea. All right, so one quick thing that I wanna add before the video ends. Um, it's just that my major takeaway from the first business I started is that for one, we couldn't really find product market fit. We greatly underestimated the culture of running. Uh, runners really weren't interested in acquiring a solution for the runner's toenail. Also the business, 
didn't have the best margins. We barely had any margins at all. There wasn't this like clear path to profitability. Um, so those are sort of the, the first two dynamics that were going on. Um, and then just the third thing, like overall as a business, it just wasn't working. And unless we would continue to spend money on marketing to continue to spread the word about the product that we were selling, uh, it just wasn't a good idea. And I think that th there's a certain point where it's like bit of like stubborn persistence and continuing to pursue something uh, because you believe that, you know, your efforts are eventually going to pay off. And then I think there's just stupidity of continuing to do the same thing and it's just totally not working. And basically just setting money on fire. And that's really what was happening with the first startup. And that's what led me to generate some new business ideas and what has now led to this recent decision to uh, develop on my nights and weekends, this new tech startup. As I mentioned uh, recently, I am going to church tonight, uh, just wrapping up uh, the filming process for this YouTube video. Uh, but that has been kind of like a, a recent um, thing that's happened in my life. And I think I'm gonna make a video about that, but I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna kind of crank out the outline for that and plan that YouTube video, but I wanna make an interesting YouTube video about that. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more podcast series uh, and episodes with Meet the Merchant. Uh, I am getting into short form content on all social media platforms. It's just my name, Timothy Halloran, on TikTok, on Instagram Reels, on everything. Uh, again, my favorite form of content is long form, being able to just sit down and vent and have a polished YouTube video put together. Uh, but uh, yeah, stay tuned for those, those new content pieces being put out and uh, like, comment, subscribe for what else you'd like to see. Thank you so much. Have a good day.